In this video, we're going to talk about how to set up your document um, for making a legal size brochure. So the first thing, when you go into Adobe Illustrator, usually you go to File and New and you press OK and you get a regular letter size piece of paper and it's vertical. Um, but we actually want two legal sized um, horizontal uh, pieces. So when we go into file and new, we need to make some changes. So the first thing is we actually want two artboards so we can design the front and the back at the same time and see them together. So we'll change that to two. The second thing is that we want to change from letter to legal. And the third thing that we might want to do is change the bleed. So just add a little bit of space around the edge because these are going to be copied on photocopiers probably. Um, it just gives us a little bit of space around the edge uh, so that we don't put things there and then they don't end up getting copied. So I'm going to change this first one to 20 points and because it's locked here, it changes all of them. The last thing that I need to do is right now it's in a vertical orientation and I want to change it to horizontal. If I change it to horizontal, uh, and press OK. I will get two horizontal, um, you know, for the front and the back legal, and I have this extra space around it. So I can design all the way up to the edge of the white and know that I still have some space around um, that uh, as an allowance for the photocopier. Now, you may want to use a grid to design these things and or rulers and guides. So the first thing I'll show you are rulers and guides. Um, if I go to view and then rulers and then show rulers, I get these rulers at the top and it helps me a lot in terms of trying to figure out like zero starts right at the edge right here, you know, and as I go in, as I change um, where my mouse is, you can see it's going along uh, the ruler. Now, I may not want um, the zero to start here. Maybe I want the zero to start in the middle of the page or something. But if you want to change where this zero is, you can just take, you can click in this upper left hand corner and drag Oops, let me do that one more time. Oh no, I did do it. I clicked and dragged just straight over and it changed where my zero was. So now uh, let's say that zero is right in between, then I can go like 72 points this way or 72 points that way. Um, same with here. If I wanted my zero instead of at the top of the page to be in the middle of the page, um, I could drag it down to where the middle of the page is. And then I can go up and down from there. Uh, now, if you don't like that these are in points and you want to change the unit of measurement on these rulers, you would go to Edit Preferences and then go to Units. I can change my general units to something else. If I want to um, design in centimeters, I can design in centimeters. And then um, that might be something that I feel more comfortable with or in inches or something, but uh, just know that that's an option. Now, once you have these, actually, I'm gonna try to make this a little bit more in the center of this. Um, once you have these, what you can do is make guides. And guides are lines that are in the design, but do not get printed. And the way that you do that is you start up at the ruler and you drag down so I could say, oh, I want one here, and I want one here. And you would have to do the math and figure out all of this stuff. Um, but it can help you, you know, when you're trying to make your three columns. Again, um, oh, I'm pulling from the center. Sorry, I just made a mistake. I should be pulling from the side. If I pull from the side, then I'm making a guide. So I'm just eyeballing it right now but you guys will do the math to figure out where do I want my edges to be? Where do I want my columns to be? Where are my folds? That kind of thing. 
uh, and you can do that for both. And you can pull down from the top too if you wanted to know exactly you know, where the center was of your paper or something, if it's important in your design. And you can do that for both. If, if these guides are ever in the way and they're driving you nuts and you don't need them anymore and whatever, all you have to do is go to view um, and guides and say hide guides. But then you can bring them back if you want to. So view, guides, show guides. And you can lock your guides um, if you saw on there uh, so that they can't be moved. Or if you want to, you can unclick that and then you're able to make some adjustments. And if you want to get rid of them altogether, just say clear guides. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, if you're finding it hard to do some of the math with um, the rulers, one other thing that you can do is add on a grid. Again, the grid is not there forever. It's just there while you're designing. So I can go to show grid and that may help me. I see, oh, there's this many and I count them out and divide them by three or four, depending on my folds. And then that might help me put in where my guides are. And again, if afterwards, if I have like a gatefold guide or something like that, and they go like that, I just have to make sure is there eight in there? Oh, there's not. So I'd have to move these around. Um, but if you don't want to see the grid, again, just go to view, view and hide grid and you can get rid of it. So those are some of the options you have in terms of setting up your document in terms of designing the front and back of your legal size brochure. If you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks.